I'm glad you could make it in. Yeah. You know, my dad always said you should be the, the fix, not the hitch. See, I appreciate that wisdom. He also hated the police, so it's <clears throat> probably... Yes, I guess that's enough with the pleasantries. I concur. Ms. Meridian is it? Uh, yeah, that's close enough. Well, we appreciate you coming in and your client deciding to cooperate. We find it helps these meetings go a little bit more smoothly. What happened to your hand? Oh, I, uh, cut it on some glass. Super careless. Miss Bowden, when you were spending so much time with Alex Sokolov on the flight, did he ever mention to you anything? It wasn't, I mean, what, what do you mean, what's so much time? Uh, she told you he was in her section, that's all. Did Alex Sokolov ever mention any concern for his personal safety? No, not at all. I mean, if he did, I would have told you in our first interview in that creepy room at JFK. When you did speak, did he tell you where he was staying? Everyone knows that. It was online. But what I'm asking is if he told your client. Got it? I'm sorry. I have to plead the fifth. Are you serious? Ms. Bowden, you and your lawyer said that you wanted to help. Oh, well, she said she was willing to help, you know. I'm just here. Do you honestly think that we, or the Bangkok police for that matter, really think that you did this? I assume that, that question is rhetorical. No, it's a real question. Because I'm very much hoping to keep someone else from ending up dead. Like this. <gasps> oh, it's OK. Here we go again. This is dead meat. The FBI not believing you. Deja vu. Special Agent White, I sincerely doubt that you're allowed to be exposing these images. And even if you are, are you fucking serious? This is your own lookout. Oh, God. It's a bad picture, but that's you. Oh, it is? Is that you? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's oh, a new one. It's different hair, but this one taken yesterday at Alex Sokolov's workplace, it looks a lot like you, too. It's okay. Maybe they can help. Who knows? If you don't try, you'll never find out. I, I just, I, I went to his workplace because I wanted to pay my respects or something. I wasn't thinking. I don't know. I, I, it's okay, Cassie. Okay, fine, fine. Fine. I met Alex on the plane. We had dinner in Bangkok, and yes. then we went back to his hotel room. We had sex in his bedroom and the bathroom. We had sex. We had we had sex a lot of places, and there were little towels that were shaped, were shaped like elephants in a giant infinity pool. And this hotel waiter came in. He gave us very strong liquor. We got extremely drunk. But when I left the next morning, he was very, very alive. I would like to take a moment with my client, please. What about Miranda? Sorry, there was someone else there. A woman. Her name was Miranda. <clears throat> she was friends with Alex. She left early, but she was there. What else can you tell us about this woman? I don't know, because I can't fucking remember her. But she was there, I am telling you. Guys, stop talking. You have to believe me. 